All right, Dean, thank you. And we begin this morning with some breaking news. One of the nation's most notorious criminals is dead. Cult leader Charles Manson has died of natural causes at the age of 83 at a medical center in Bakersfield, California. Manson was in prison for nearly 50 years for ordering mass murders that shocked the world. CBS 4's Danielle Nottingham takes a look back at his life. Before 1969, few people had heard of Charles Manson. Then came the two day rampage in Southern California. What happened, Charlie? Whatever they do is what they do. Manson was convicted of using his cult to turn followers into killers and ordering the murders of at least seven people. One of them was actress Sharon Tate, wife of director Roman Polanski, and eight months pregnant at the time of the murder. Manson believed the killings would help bring on an apocalyptic race war, which he called Helter Skelter. What is the hearing? Manson was born to a 16 year old mother in Cincinnati. He grew up in a series of foster homes, and by the time of the murders, had been in and out of prison for much of his life. I've been watching you, uh, watching you on the tube. In 1986, CBS's Charlie Rose interviewed Manson at San Quentin Prison, where the convict said he had no regrets. But in the world that I live in, I've never made a, a bad move in my whole life. Even when it came to the murders. Murder? There's no murder. There was in the Holy a murder war. of Sharon Tate. Come on. There's no murder in the Holy War, man. It was, it was, it was, it had nothing to do with the, was that. Was it a Holy War? Was Sharon Tate's murder a Holy War? The whole thing is a Holy War. Manson's cult spoke about a holy war against the rich and powerful. Four of his followers were convicted in the murders. All of their death sentences, including Manson's, were commuted to life in prison. Manson was up for parole 12 times and always denied. For nearly half a century, his name marked the gruesome end of the peace movement, which promised love over war. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News.